Hello, Jacek, SQ8GUM. Sorry for the wind, but this is a, a little bit windy day. Uh, this are two vertical, two verticals for the 40 meters band, and uh, uh, this is for 40 meters band. They are switched. I will try to show you the rely box and uh, this antenna is working very well but I think it is uh, quite a big influence of my another antenna which is close to this to this array and uh, this is uh, 19 meters uh, mast 90 meters height with with my spider beam uh, please apologize also for inconvenience I live in uh, Mm, road where uh, cars uh, are a little bit noisy but uh, this is also my spider beam antenna with the military mast 19 meters high and it's uh, it's close to the to this uh, vertical array but it's still working fine and uh, I see directivity and uh, again in the direction when I switch this antenna between uh, west and south because this is um, how it is a set up on the ground according to the uh, to the north and south and, and these directions so next I will present you uh, my rely box which with the phasing loop and uh, how I switch uh, between two directions. This is my antenna switching box. I don't know what I can find there because uh, as you can see it, it was not open for a long time. <laughs> and I don't know this is a hermetic box but I don't know what would be inside. Maybe there are some places where water can go inside, but uh, hopefully not, <laughs> but we'll see. And this is this is uh, the loop, phasing loop, and uh, here comes the phasing loop, and the antenna right side and the left side and of course the supply here uh, where the, the cable which is going to the to the shack and this is a um, cable which is uh, used to uh, to switch switch antenna back and forth uh, so I'm going to to open the, the box and uh, we will see what is inside so I have unscrew all the screws. This is a I don't know if you will be able to see it is a IP65 waterproof, but we'll see what is inside. Let's open open the box. Yeah, unfortunately some water went to this to this box but I don't see now a lot of water maybe some a little bit in the corner but not so much so this is a ground connectivity and all all connection I'm using uh, Relies uh, from the Arduino board and uh, this is a a connection using five volts to to switch switch relays five volt DC this is how my switch box looks inside yeah maybe I will show you also the the mm, my verticals which are which are here so there is a one of my vertical with the <coughs> ground system 
I don't have a lot of uh, counter poses, uh, but uh, maybe I will add this year a little bit of them. I stopped for a moment because of the noise of the track. So this is how my antenna is mounted. And and going up. As you can see this is not inverted L because for the 40 meters band it is not required. Uh, it is an aluminium pipe with simple holders. Pipe holders using using in a in a hydraulic industry, simple house hydraulic industry. So that's that's how it looks like. And my switching box. So thank you. Maybe it will help someone of you to make your own antenna. This is a great antenna with uh, two directions and uh, even four directions. Uh, <laughs> we can say four directions, but uh, three positions where it's uh, in my situation it's uh, east and west direction and also you can use this antenna as a as a B directional one and another vertical thank you 73 and all the best in your constructions